quality quality content i feel like i'm the queen of content because what dishing out on a weekly basis is not easy <laughs> So welcome back. My name is Isioma. In case it's your first time here, in fact, where have you been? Where? I know that you're excited about this video and you're most likely a student watching this right now. That is why you clicked on this video. I have so many juicy things for you in this video. So you definitely want to watch till the end. When you like my video, you get to recommend it to more people. And when you leave a comment below too, it helps the engagement of my video and it helps my channel to grow. So if at any point in this video, you find it helpful, you find it valuable and you are able to just connect with some of the things I'll be sharing, the least you can do is say thank you by liking or a comment below or even doing both let's jump right into the 10 things i badly want to tell you guys so the first thing i badly want to tell nigerian university students is that you need to be very intentional about building great friendships like quality relationships if you follow me on here you know that i always emphasize this and the truth is i'm not the best person when it comes to building relationships maintaining relationships calling and things like that to be honest my friends know i am not even close but i believe so much that building relationships is not all about being in people's faces all the time but just your ability to add value to the lives of people basically connect and just make sure that everyone who crosses your path is blessed everyone who crosses your path wants to come again basically just being intentional about having the right circle around you whether you know it or not people would always have some level of influence on you so you need to be very intentional about surrounding yourself with the right people i would say choose your friends don't necessarily let them choose it just because somebody is trying to be your friend does not mean that you should make them your friend don't just have friends have the right friends the second thing is that you need to learn a skill while you're in school i would not say that i did not learn a skill but i honestly wish i did more i am a proof by the grace of god that you can have it all you can do it all you can have your degree your first class if you there's even first test class just like that though. you can develop yourself you can run a business you can have a youtube channel like i am and was doing while i was in school you can still be learning a skill on the side you can be doing many other things because the bible says i can do all things through christ who strengthens me now paul was talking about capacity intentionality and discipline in that scripture that whatever it is he lays his hands on god increases his capacity for him to be able to do more so learn a skill while you're in school i know that private schools have very rigid rules like don't bring phones don't run a business don't sell don't trade but what about digital skills freelancing on upwork on fiverr even if you're not able to monetize or use them as businesses yet just have them because now we are in the skill economy you need to learn how to speak well literally improve your communication skills both in writing and in speaking because i don't know why you will be an undergraduate and still be sending messages like sup how are you i'm fine all those short shots dry and very unintelligent and uncivilized way of chatting and then you want to speak you will say you are shy please 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 drop all those things i beg you shyness is a mindset it's not your nature it's not really in your body the bible says whatever you conceive is what you are while i was in school i had the opportunity to serve god as a devotion leader i was a whole representative in my 200 and 300 levels in Bowie university so that warranted me to be in like 100 level hostels two times so i was not with my mates in my 200 and 300 level and being a devotion leader where i have to take devotion preach address everybody in the hostel morning and night i could not just run away from public speaking i could not run away from addressing the crowd it was helping me develop my public speaking skills everything i had learned as a devotion leader was just what i was applying when i became the vice president female for the student body if you've been following me on here you know that i was the vice president female for the student body in the 20 21 2022 session by the grace of god and when you are a student leader our chaplain would sometimes put you on the chapel program so for example we have wednesday and sunday chapel services you can be on the program maybe like to take offering to lead prayers or things like that our chapel is so big i think boa university chapel is the largest chapel in private universities here in nigeria so when you stand on the altar you're literally seeing so many people over 4,000 students if you're not used to public speaking you can be stuttering but guess what the experience i had as a devotion leader 
that really helped me in increasing my leadership capacity as the vice president female another experience i also had was when we had a leadership summit in school and the school management invited some guest speakers from different parts of the world and they came to speak to us on business and different aspects of life after the summit i went around you know just introducing myself to a couple of the speakers oh good afternoon my name is isyama ojeme this is what i do and there was this particular man who was very intrigued when i told him i had a youtube channel i showed him my channel just told him what i do i never even thought that it would be a selling point for me and i was like oh wow you do this you did you edit videos yourself you design this yourself oh my god this kind of thing and so he said i should send him a message on instagram he eventually even sent me the message first and things like that and guess what i got a job offer of close to hundred thousand naira, but I had to decline because I weighed my responsibilities at that point. It was just a very wrong timing for me. I could not carry all the responsibilities. It would have been overwhelming if I had taken up the job alongside the responsibilities I had. So I had to decline. But just imagine if I had taken it up. I know that it might not seem like so much money, but imagine earning close to 100k when you are still in school. It's something at least you will not be overly dependent on your parents. Now, this happened because of my ability to network, because of my ability to speak out. There will be so many opportunities that will come your way. Take advantage. It's like I'm really hammering on this learn to speak well. And so because I love you guys so much and I want to see you become the best version of yourself, I have put together a beginner masterclass in public speaking where I I'll be teaching you how to write an impressive speech, how to overcome stage fright and win your audience over, how to even speak in front of a camera like this and sound like a pro right now, and lots more. There will also be bonus packages like having free access to my ebook and having a free consultation for small YouTubers. See, it's going to be a swell time, and I do not want you guys to miss out at all. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you should be the first to jump on this. Don't wait for Instagram people to come and grab what you should have at your back and call i'm saying this because i know it's not everyone who follows me on instagram that follows me here but you guys have been with me you've kind of watched me grow you've kind of seen my journey you should be the first to take advantage of this basically this is going to be a wholesome time it's happening on the 16th of september 2022 it's a public speaking masterclass. so click the link in the description below register for this class and i can't wait to see you in class we're going to have a great time together it's going to be a live session and it promises to be worth your investment you need to start working on your project as soon as possible like start working on your project early enough i know that this does not apply to everyone this obviously applies to final year students alone so if you're a final year student watching this please if you have been sleeping on your project or you plan to sleep on your project i really advise that you start working on it on time because it will go a long way in helping you ace your project i really wanted an a in my project if you watched my reaction video to my result i mentioned it there that i really wanted that a in my project but i didn't get it but i am grateful because till tomorrow i can defend that project anyway i know my topic like i know my name you can ask me anything in my project now and i will have an idea so when you start early it gives you the opportunity to read ahead like really take your time you're not working under pressure you are going to save time you're going to be able to do things at your pace because any project done under pressure would not really be a great project at the end of the day. Anything worth doing is worth doing. A few months ago, I also did a video on how to get a suitable topic for your final year project in the Nigerian University. So maybe I'll link it up somewhere here so that you can check it out. If I don't link it up, then it will be at the end of this video. So watch till the end so that you can jump on that video right away. I know that people are going through a lot. I'm aware of the whole strike thing. I'm aware that some of you attend federal universities, state universities, and even private universities. Don't compromise for your grades. Don't bribe anybody for your grades. Don't sleep with anybody for your grades. Yes, I said that. Don't. Don't. You know the best thing about being a first class graduate? It is not about the grades for me. It is about the pride that comes with the fact that I know that I earned this result. I didn't have to kiss anybody's ass or I didn't have to bribe anybody or do any indecent thing quote and unquote to get it. I worked for this thing. 
So anywhere in the world, I tell people I can defend my first class, even my lecturers know it. I end this first class by the help of the Holy Spirit and by my own efforts. If you ever desire to succeed in any area of your life, not just academically, don't compromise. I am so sorry if you've ever been in that kind of situation, maybe been forced to do something like that. I do not judge you, but I'm begging you, please don't continue. Just stop. And if you've never done it, please don't even consider it. If you've been considering it, dead the thoughts. This is not just about your grades. This is not just about now even if you say you're not a spiritual person what about your destiny what about tomorrow what about your dignity what about your conscience what about your peace of mind anything that cannot be gotten the right way does not deserve to be achieved to be honest i would rather have you graduate with that two one or that two two or that pass than sleep with anybody to get a first class i beg you at the end of the day what matters is spirit of god being with you just keep developing yourself upgrade your skill set and you would find favor you get a job you will succeed in life but please don't ruin your destiny because of grades now do you know what the bible says about jesus in hebrews 11 it says that for the joy that was set before jesus he despised the shame he endured the cross and now he's seated at the right hand of god so it was not easy for jesus but he endured he took the pain because he saw that by the time i die for these people and i resurrect i'll be able to give them eternal life they'll be able to have a personal relationship with me and the father they will be able to come to me they'll be able to spend eternity with me he saw these things and so that was the joy that was set before him i would say to you what is the joy that is set before you? What is that thing that would keep you going, that would inspire you not to compromise, not to look back, not to accept that offer that does not please God? I really encourage you, if you're about to enter university, private, federal, state, polytechnic, college of education, whatever it is, please don't compromise for your grades. And I pray that God will help you to stand firm in Jesus' name. Amen. You need to participate. Don't just spectate to some he gave one to some he gave two to some he gave five so know your capacities weigh them and don't take too much per time remember that i said i declined a job because i needed to focus on the most important things to me as at the time so i'm not saying that you should now be everywhere but try as much as possible to engage in different activities if there's a program go for it if there's a third events being organized in your school volunteer everybody cannot be the speaker everybody cannot be the volunteer but at least you can be one out of the many volunteer put your hand in the little little places you can put your hand develop yourself don't just sit down there and waiting for four years to come to an end and get your degree and go you'll be at a loss so to be honest because 80 percent of the things i'm coming out with now even up to doing youtube all these things many of them were as a result of the things i gathered or learned by experience by practice and not necessarily what i sat down in class to learn of course those two contributed but it was mainly the things that i took from class took from experience put it into practice and utilized to make my life better so don't just come out of school with the good grades. Engage in certain activities that are good. Emphasis on good activities, not just any kind of activities. So, yeah. My seventh advice to you would be save your money. I know this is not the kind of advice you want to hear. But save your money, you. <laughs> I was reading my devotional this morning and it was just talking about how God expects us to be responsible enough to kind of live below our means in the sense that if you are earning a certain amount of money, you should not be living up to the amount of money you are earning. You should be able to save some money, keep aside some for your tithing and keep aside some for your spending and some for your investment. So I use carry wise. If you, if you watched my video on how I saved um, over 100,000 naira using carry wise, you can go and check it out. I'll link it up somewhere again. So feel free to use the link in the description below to sign up and you know get started with your savings because I know savings can be hard in school, but when you have a platform that can keep you disciplined, it will make it easier for you. So please save. Oh, if you understand what you're investing in, you can start investing, keep aside for your tithes and spend as well. Be kind to everyone, not just people who can help you, not just people who are well connected. We need to get to that point where we can just be kind to people without expecting anything from them. Just be kind. It's even more profitable to be kind to people that cannot give you back what you've given them. Because the Bible says, 
you will reap what you sow not necessarily where you sow so when you are reaping it might not be from that person but it will be because of that thing that you have sown oh god wisdom 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 don't rely on people don't put your confidence in people the bible says woe to him that puts his confidence in man woe do you know what woe means you're on your own it's not god that is saying you are doomed though but like by yourself by yourself you are doing yourself <laughs> even yourself there are times you fall your own hand there are times you don't meet up to your own expectations how much more people now meeting up to your expectations so please i'm not saying you should not trust people i'm not saying you should not seek help from people but don't make it a habit of relying on your roommate all the time for everything even that examination stop it this habit of oh read this place let me read people will slide you my friend would always say the best of a man He's still a man so please don't rely on people who can like to be disappointed <laughs> and my last advice to you i feel like you already know what the last advice is which is the 10th advice is to build your work with god while you're in school it can only get better trust me and it gets harder when you get out there if you are in a private school like mine where they tell you go to chapel do this and this and that you realize that when you're out of school there will be nobody to do all these things for you so it's better to take advantage of all those disciplines and pushing and things like that to actually genuinely build your work with god because when you're out of school nobody cares if you don't go to church you don't have strict parents you're on your own you can just stay but once you have intentionally inculcated the habit bit of building a relationship with god it will really go a long way start learning how to hear god now it's not when there are critical decisions in your life that you now be trying to figure out things and be crying and be frustrated build a relationship with him you can achieve this by reading the bible praying every day there's no way out fasting those three things there's no escape you have to do them if you want to grow he would help you he would see you through if you're a student just know that god is with you God loves you. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. I hope I've been able to inspire you through my journey in one way or the other. You can let me know in the comment section what you learned from this video. Don't forget to register for the Confident Speaker Masterclass. You're going to have a swell time. I'll be giving out my ebook for free to everyone who attends the class. So you definitely want to join. We'll also be having free consultation for small youtubers in that class leave a comment below i really want to hear from you, you guys have been so silent on my videos recently please leave a comment below and i'll see you guys in the next one bye